my enemy. She is the goddess, she is the singer, the story, the poet. She is the song, the story, the poem. Hello everybody, this is Mama Muji. Uh, today, I thought I want to do the Rise of Bandan part 2. Uh, because I'm very curious. And oh, I forgot to say welcome to my channel everybody. Most beautiful people out there. <laughs> and I thought i show you my hat that I crocheted. But I'm not satisfied. I've been crocheting and taking it out and crocheting and taking it out and I'm still not satisfied. I think it's too big. It's way too big. Look. <laughs> so I think I need to make it like two parts smaller and it will fit a lot better. So but I thought this is this is my what I what I wanted to do. So but I will take it off. It's way too warm to wear. But and it's heavy. It's really heavy. Look, I think I did a good job, but I, I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller and then I will be very happy. I did wear it today when I went grocery shopping, but it's really too big. It's no, it's not, uh, but I like it. I like it. I think it's, it's, it went beautifully. <laughs> but so again, like the hundredth of time that I will take it out and do it again. <laughs> But hey, that's 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 the part I kind of enjoy. That when you're not satisfied, you just take all the yarn out and start over. But I don't have to start all over. But I have to take part uh, the orange part and a whole part of the yellow from where I started to make more cables. So I have at that point I have to go back. At that point, so I doesn't don't do too many. You know, if you understand what I mean. Ah, who cares? We're here for the Rise of Panda, part two. At least I am here for that. I'm very curious. I uh, really, really, really thought it's time to do so. Um, in part one, there were a lot of ads. So I don't know if part two has a lot of ads too. I guess it will. Um, so it will take it will take me a, a little longer because I, I always cut out the ads. I don't know if I should, but I really don't like those things in there. Maybe I should leave them in there. I don't know, but I always cut them out and that takes a little bit of more time. So maybe I have tomorrow time for that. I don't know. Depends on a whole lot of things like how I slept. If my body is working. If I don't have too much pain, if I'm happy, if I am um, have a good start of the day, because normally I start my day with dancing on BTS, I like 30 or 45 minutes and to, to wake up my body who's stiff and painful after a night of lying down. I hardly sleep, so I don't know if I can call it sleep. So that's uh, why I do that, to wake up my body, but also to make sure that the more I move my body, the less chance my bones have to grow together, especially my spine. You know, you, if, you, if you're new to my channel, you don't know that I have... Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, don't, don't remember the name in English, but it's the, it's Bechtref and it's a kind of rheumatism where your bones grow together. And two of my, my vertebrae here already grown together. That's why my head doesn't move more than this and I can do this and that, that's all. And uh, left and right. That's all I can do. So if I want to see what's happening over there or over there, I have to physically move my body because my head cannot turn anywhere anymore. And that will be forever. So I'm always in pain. So this whole part's always like mm, cringy. So, and, um, and I can, I can, I can feel that my, uh, spine also 
has a lot of uh, stiffness and um, the parts between your your vertebrae uh, it's it's almost almost gone so I always hear like <coughs> when my bones touch each other so uh, especially in my neck and that's a good feeling and that's why I dance to BTS because I can slow it down by moving and it hurts especially when I just get out of bed I go in my PJs downstairs uh, first I take my medicine and then I make my drink it's water with ginger lemon and honey and I stir it all up and then I put my earphones on and then I well I call it dancing my kids call it I don't know what but I call it dancing <laughs> I'm no J-Hope <laughs> but I always think I am but I'm no J-Hope <laughs> and um, that's what I, I do I just move my body and sometimes it's just like a 30 minutes just working through the pain before there's any little bit like in my body then I think okay now I can move without uh, the uh, there's always a baseline of pain every day that's never going away and I have this from when I was 23 years old so there's a baseline when I heard J-Hope's song Ooh, with the baseline with the ba and I thought that's what I have I have a baseline of pain always and on top of that it gets it's never below the baseline never but always and there's days that's just this baseline and if, if if it's just the baseline I'm happy but uh, like a few weeks now like a week before Christmas the build up for a pain attack like I call it it's been coming and and I had the pain attack uh, from Christmas through the New Year's and now it's slowly going down again but and when I have it my my spine looks very crooked so I always say I'm the hunchback of the Netherlands so <laughs> too much talking too much explaining about me but then you know why I always look weird or like I cannot really move <laughs> so that's why so okay we're here for our beautiful Bantam men I don't call them boys they're not boys anymore they're men that's my opinion they're men okay here we go hmm Close my eyes for a long time. I've dreamed this treasure must be. Life is a zoo in a jungle. We got to find and get our weapons to rumble. And BTS with the kids who are too cool for school. Making a debut after a long preparation, how can the singer and album make an appeal to the general public? Korea has around 4,000 official labels slash entertainment companies slash businesses that make or produce albums. K-pop is so competitive. You have hundreds of groups debut every year. Wow. Um, and it's, you know, maybe 1% is going to stay around for a few years. 
Korea has a relatively small home market. So it has to think about developing a product that will appeal to overseas markets. I really do not like or appreciate that they try to pigeonhole like K-pop and like the Korean music industry as like this super like factory corporate like machine. Because where the hell do you think we got that from? Up until a certain point, I think we were very much influenced uh -huh. by the Western. I'm not saying that it's right or that it's wrong, but it, it, it's just what needed to be done in order to branch out. I mean, that's been around for a very, very long time and it happens in everywhere else too. They only focus on like a few specific cases where that happens and then make it seem like every single part of this scene here is like that. There are mm -hmm. systematic rotten problems in the idol trainee system. The way that it's become like an, a simplified generalized narrative about the dark side of K-pop and how this bland obvious statement seems to resonate in headlines shows that there's a problem in the way Western media perceive this new Asian culture. You know, there's a misconception that Korean, like Korean industry is like somehow more corporate and n no even if there are certain things that they have to do like choreography and stuff like that right they still have enough room to um you know write songs and be be creative back in the day heavy metals and rock the rock stars rock you know what i mean they are kind of like k-pop now you gotta have some characters they wear crazy makeup and all that hair and so this was happening with k-pop rock stars be born you know what i mean so what is it like living as a k-pop star good question if you turn on your tv any day of the week here in seoul you'll find a k-pop show to watch it's a weekly rapid fire blast through the latest crop of k-pop acts these artists are already signed to record labels, but it's a competitive show. A bit of a cross between Top of the Pops and X Factor. Winning can be a huge boost for any act. Mm -hmm. Winners are selected through votes from the live audience as well as the viewers at home. The rookie hip hop group BTS are in the spotlight, and the members are waiting for their turn. Unlike other rookie stars, they greeted the camera in a relaxed way. 2013년 7월 10일 뷔의 첫 단독 모드 짝짝짝짝 안녕하세요 뷔입니다 나이는 19살이고요 방탄에서 보컬을 맡고 있습니다 oh, 18 사람들이 많이 놀랬던 것 같은데 6명 그룹일 줄 알았던 방탄이 7명이 그룹이 7명이라서 오래 전부터 멤버들이랑 같이 생활했다 그리고 크리스마스 때도 같이 썼고 랩몬 형 졸업 때도 갔고 어 단체로 찍을 때 여섯 명만 나왔을 뿐이지 사실 나도 있었다 나는 카메라에만 안 나왔을 뿐이지 벽에 기대서 형들을 아. 계속 지그시 바라보고 있었다 앞으로 많은 것을 보여드리는 방탄소년단의 귀가 되겠습니다. Mm. Ah, I got nerves for them in my belly.
막연히 꿈이 없는 상태로 10대를 보내다가 부모님이 뭐 공무원 추천한 공무원에 뭔가 10대들에게 이제 정말 네 꿈이 뭐냐 이걸 물어보고 싶었어요 정말 부호에 맞춰서 응원도 해주시고 아, 아 정말, 정말 감동받았습니다 너무 감사했습니다 이 시대의 감성을 담다. 특히 젊은 사람들의 청년들이 지금 숨 쉬기가 좀 벅차요. 기업 안 되죠. 꿈 가지라는데 이거 꿈 고문이죠. 희망 고문이죠. 근데 그런 것들은 참잘 담아요. 첫 무대를 봤는데 너무 멋있어가지고 아, 감사합니다. 아, 감사합니다. 네, 너무 잘하는 거죠. 방탄이라는 게 이제 총알을 막아낸다는 의미잖아요. 총알처럼 쏟아지는 편견과 억압에서 이제 당당히 저희 세대의 생각과 가치를 지켜내겠다는 그런 음. 심오한 뜻이 담겨 있습니다. <웃음> 엄청난 포부를 저희가 또 갖고 있죠. 모던 쇼넨단도 가츠도 오일시테이마스. 
<laughs> I don't know where to pause. We did it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let me pause here. I don't know where to pause. Why did, does this make me emotional? I was not there in 2013 when they debuted it. Nope, I was not there. I was thinking. Hmm. I was already living alone with my two children who were small then like Elliot was like five or six years old so <laughs> and and in that year we moved to another house a bigger house and I met my current boyfriend so in the same year but later in the year so when it is now 2022 BTS will be nine years together so I will be nine years together with my boyfriend Yay. <laughs> so but uh, wow this is so I have not seen all these these footage it's so I, I don't know where to stop it's so uh beautiful to see also their how they started but i i really have like this this in almost this this knot in my in my stomach for them i know it's like almost nine years ago when they debuted it but still i i, f I felt anxiety for them <laughs> i don't know maybe because i'm a mother and they look so young and they are so young huh? like V is 18 so Jimin is 18 then um, Jungkook is then 15 16 uh, and then if they are 18 then J-Hope and RM are like 19 I think and then Suga is 20 and then Jin is 21 something like that so they're young you know my oldest son is 19 so he, he you know wow it's so it's, I, I'm so happy to get all these info uh, when they started like they're saying like it's a, a, f a manufactured uh, but I guess they we do that in the West with with sports right where young children are being drilled to become something so I I, I don't think this is a really a very very wrong thing I know stories like Elliot tells me about one company that their CEO is really I don't want to say his name so and you know so but I know we, we know because we have we, we we are all into BTS and we know about punk PD and big hit so it's such a difference such a difference but look how beautiful they are <laughs> they feel so precious and you as a mother I just want to protect them knowing this is their start, their debut, and knowing what they've been through, and only we see it from the outside. We don't know what they really went through because maybe it's so much more than fans could find out. So, as a mother, you just want to protect these precious boys. So here, there are really boys. Mm, let's go.
멤버들 연습 기간이요 3년 정도라고 들었습니다 데뷔 전에 블로그를 통해서 직접 만든 프리스타일 랩 자작곡도 올리고 기존 곡 위에 랩을 얹어 새로운 편곡한 믹스테이프도 뭐 올리고 네. 굉장히 이슈가 됐었습니다 요거는 누가 많이 했었던 건가요? 저와 이제 랩몬스터가 가장 많이 했는데요 네. 블로그를 통해서 네 자작곡도 많이 공개하고 또 저희들 로그라는 네. 저희들 하루 일지 같은 음. 영상을 찍어서 어, 예. 매번 영상을 블로그를 통해서 올리고 하고 있었어요. 아 직접이요? 네, 네. 편집 안 하고 그냥 영상을 찍어서 어, 예. 바로 올렸어요. 아 그냥 올렸어요? 네. 네. 아니, 팬분들이 많이 좋아하시더라고요. 아 그때부터 네. 좀 팬이 있었군요. 네. 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 그래서 영 네. 그래서 연관 검색어에 데뷔 언제 해? 데뷔를 하고 이제 처음으로 학교를 간 적이 있었는데. 학교에 되게 이제 기대를 하고 이제 데뷔도 했고 이제 친구들의 반응이 궁금해서 잔뜩 기대가 부풀어서 이제 아, 원, 내가 원하지 않는 그런 밋밋한 반응들 really? 평범한 반응들 어 진아 왔어? 이런 평범한 일상의 반응들 oh. 말하지 않았다 정말 씁쓸한 현실을 겪은 그런 날이 있었는데 음. 저 당시에는 우리가 막 방송을 마음대로 못깔 때예요. 방송을 막 사람 다쳐 했으면 우리 못 나오고 그럴 때도 있었어. 또 요즘은 진짜 많이 느끼는데 뭔가 말의 심각성, 말의 중요성에 대해서 많이 느낀다. 정말 얼마 안 되는 네임 밸류지만 인신 공격도 많이 받았었고 뭐 일방적으로 정말 밑도 끝도 없이 까내리는. 비난들 정말 앞으로 얼마나 많이 받을지 모르지만 얼마나 많이 받겠지만 너무 많이 받겠지만 괜찮다 괜찮고 나 까고 수많은 찬사와 수많은 비난을 받겠지만 항상 당당하고 항상 나는 이런 사람이고 난 진짜 괜찮은 사람 우리는 진짜 괜찮은 팀이라는 걸꼭 가능시켜주고 싶다 이전 와우 At this early age He is already so such a wise young man But that must have been hard. Wow. Why? They're young people. Why? I don't care who you are. If we, as especially as as parents or older people, we, I, I feel we have the. Um, how do how do you say that? Like I always say, we have to build our children up and not break them down. The young people, we ha- we are here to help them build up, build up their self-esteem, their self-love, their self-everything. We, we are here to guide them to build up and not to break down. But how many times have I seen parents, people... breaking people down why do we do that why are we breaking down we need to build up especially beautiful young people we have to build them up you know why break down this is breaking down and i'm so glad that uh, i'm I'm sure they they got support and help there must because if you're that young and get so much criticism it i don't know if i could take it wow i'm so i'm so sorry for you guys as a human being as a mother as a woman as a as a as a being of this earth as a spiritual being nobody deserves to get shit sorry i never say that but that sort of things over it. over them never never but when i get sorry if i get angry or then i say words i will just bleep it out okay <laughs> but oh man i i really don't like i don't i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand why 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 if you don't like anybody if you don't like their music their art don't watch it don't listen but don't hate don't criticize them don't don't tear down build up or don't listen if it's not your genre or something don't go there don't listen but never break down never hate